hey everyone Michelle here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Christmas book haul now the books you will see here are not all the books I got for Christmas unfortunately because of Miss Covid I couldn't meet up with friends to do our present exchange which means there are books out there that I don't have yet but that doesn't mean I have no books to show you no 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 so the books I'm showing you, there is four that I got for Christmas from other people. So that is mainly my mum and my sister. There are five books where two, I have ordered them and there are three pre-orders for January that I got in December. Waterstones, I love you. Mwah. So let's get on with the books and the first books I will show you are the books that my mum and my sister got for me. So every year for Christmas, my mum and my big sister i have three big sisters and they are big sister big big sister and big 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 sister every year my mum and my big sister always get me vouchers that i can spend in waterstones because they know all i want is books so this year i got eight pound in vouchers but i didn't spend eight pound on books i split it in half because of all the books i already had I didn't want to get more books to overwhelm my little mind so I only spent £40 on books. The first book I got was Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik and like normal I'm just going to read you the blurb because I haven't got better yet at summarising but that's another aim for this year. <laughs> Will Dark Magic Claim Their Throne? Miriam is a daughter of her village's moneylender but poverty beckons as her father's too kind-hearted to collect his debts. Then Miriam hardens her own heart and takes up his work. Her success creates rumours she can turn silver into gold, which attract the fairy king of winter himself. He sets her an impossible challenge, and if she fails, she dies. Yet if she triumphs, a fate worse than death awaits. Irina's father schemes to wed her to the Tsar. However, their dashing ruler hides a terrible secret, threatening mortals and winter alike. Torn between deadly choices, Miriam and Irina embark on a quest. It's one that will encompass sacrifice, power and even love. Now, this book has been on my to-be-bought list for quite a number of years and with me doing the readathons I'm doing, one of them, one of the themes is to have a book with a colour in the title. Now, there's not many books on my to-be-bought list that has a colour in the title, but I thought I would go with Spinning Silver because I did read A Deadly Education by Naomi last year. It was an okay book but a lot of people love her spinning silver book so I thought you know what this is the perfect time to give it a go. The next book I got because it is the last in a trilogy I will not be able to give you the synopsis for it and that is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson and this is book number three in the Mistborn trilogy. Now in my top 12 books of the year video which I will link down below I did have the first book in this series, The Final Empire, on there. So if you go click on that video, that will tell you everything about that book. Um, but yeah, reading the synopsis of this one will spoil book one and book two for this trilogy. And I don't want to do that because I think everyone should read this trilogy. So that is the second book I got. The third book I got was Dreamwalker by J.D. Oswald. And again, this is because of the two readathons I am participating in. So for um, the buzzwordathon, the buzzword is dream. I have no books on my to be bought list or on my to be read list that have the word dream in them. So I had a look at the list that Kayla put on um, good in the Goodreads group and I saw this one and I thought, you know what? It sounds really intriguing. It's a fantasy book, an adult fantasy book. So obviously adult fantasy is something I want to read more of. So I thought a perfect op perfect opportunity to read another book. In a small village, miles from the great cities of the Twin Kingdoms, a young boy called Errol 
tries to find his way in the world. He's an outsider. He looks different from other children and has never known his father. No one, not even himself, has any knowledge of his true lineage. Deep in the forest, Benfro, the young male dragon, begins his training in the subtle arts. Like his mother, Morgwen the Green, he is destined to be a great mage. No one could imagine that the future of all life in the Twin Kingdoms rests in the hands of these two unlikely heroes. But it is a destiny that will change the lives of boy and dragon forever. Now, after reading the synopsis, I'm not sure if this is adult fantasy. If you have read this book and it's not adult fantasy, can you please let me know? Because I feel a bit of an idiot now. But it's got dragons, it's got a young boy, it's got heroes. What more can I ask for? So the next book I bought, I had to get because one of the pre-orders I got, I didn't realise was a sequel. But luckily, after reading the synopsis to the first book, I think I'm going to like it. And that book is The Way of All Flesh by Ambrose Parry. And this, if I am correct, is the pseudonym for an already famous author and his medical wife. So it's both of them combining what they know to create a great series. I will have their names in the description box below. On to the synopsis. Can I just say, I love that cover. Love it. Edinburgh, 1847. Will Raven is a medical student, apprenticing for the brilliant and renowned Dr Simpson. Sarah Fisher is Simpson's housemaid and has all of Raven's intelligence but none of his privileges. As bodies begin to appear across the old town, Raven and Sarah find themselves propelled headlong into the darkest shadows of Edinburgh's underworld. And if either of them are to make it out alive, they will have to work together to find out who's responsible for the gruesome death. So that hit, so reading that synopsis, it hits one of my reading goals to read a book set in history. So I think I'm going to enjoy this one very, very much. So now on to the three books that I pre-ordered that were due in January and on to the two books that I bought myself anyway, but came a bit late. So the first book, obviously, is the sequel to The Way of All Flesh, and that is The Art of Dying by Ambrose Parry. And reading the synopsis, this will spoil book one. So unfortunately, I'm not able to read the synopsis to you. But again, a beautiful cover. The next book I got is from the author Wilder Girls, Rory Powell, a book that I really want to read, and that is Burn Our Bodies Down. Now, this has been talked on Bookstagram and Book Twitter, but not a lot on Booktube. So the only Booktuber I have seen talk about this book that I can remember is Kayla from Books and La La. Now, she is really, really looking forward to this book, so I'm hoping I will enjoy it. Now, the synopsis for this book... There isn't really one on the back. I'll read you what it says. There can't have been another of me. I would know, wouldn't I? From the New York Times bestseller, author of The Wilder Girls, comes a twisty and creepy thriller that questions what we know of our own identities and how far those closest to us will go to protect the truth. I'ma be honest, the cover is stunning and it was the cover that caught my attention. Now I remember like I said, I remember Kayla talking about this book but she didn't really have a synopsis for it at the time. It was one of her um, most anticipated books but one of the books where only the cover, it was one of the books where the cover hadn't been released, there was no synopsis yet but she liked it so I was like, pre-order. Um, yeah, there is more of a synopsis online, obviously, but on Goodreads or on Waterstones or on ba Barnes & Noble, I think it's called in America. 
uh, but yeah unfortunately I don't have that synopsis on me but yeah that cover is very pretty and I am looking forward to diving into this one. Next book I got I literally only pre-ordered because there were two book vloggers who talked about it and for them two book vloggers I enjoy them very much so that book is Last One to Die by Cynthia Murphy and the tagline says if looks could kill she'd be dead already spine tingling I love it I love how on this dark background you just get shadows of people standing out creepy I love it Neve is in London for a summer of fun and freedom but young women are being attacked across the city and she quickly discovers they all look scarily similar to her. Can her new friends all be trusted? Can she shake off the feeling that someone is watching her? Will she stay one step ahead of the killer or will she be next? I think this is definitely a thriller book that I may be holding off reading until October time but who knows I I may get the better of myself and dive in. So the next two books are sequels to books I read at, in January in 2020 but for some reason I didn't get the pre-orders so I had to cancel them and order them like normal. <laughs> um, the first book is the sequel to The Never Tilting World and that is The Ever Cruel Kingdom by Rin Chapeco and the second book is the sequel to Grave Maidens and that is War Maidens by Kelly Coon. Now because both books are sequels like The Hero of Ages I cannot tell you about the synopsis for these books because they will spoil the first ones. All I will say is the first book for this duology was a three and a half nearly four star book for me. This book was a four star book for me so I will say go read them. These are two fantasy YA books where yes it was obviously YA but it was very enjoyable there is a female female romance in this one and this one there is a stereotypical kind of romance being developed but you love it. So there are all nine books that I got in December. So like I said there are a couple more books still to come but due to Miss Covid I'm not quite sure when I will get them. Yeah I couldn't really put off this video anymore because because I'm not sure when I'll get them books so yeah and now I can finally file these with the rest of my TBR shelves. I always keep the books I hold separately until I've done this type video but literally just seeing these and I was like but I can put you weird I could put you in order but I couldn't but now I can. So there are all nine books. If you have read any of them and you want to give me your opinion please do. I am always welcome to them. Comment down below, comment on my Instagram post, DM me on Instagram, DM me on Twitter. Follow me on Goodreads if you want. I will link everything down below. And with that being said, bye guys.